so hi, I'm Jeff Berner, and thanks for inviting me down here, Canon and Lou. And this is my daughter Lula, and uh, she might do some dancing and singing too. And uh, we're gonna start off uh, with a song that seems like it's always kind of of the moment, you know. It's called Daloy Police, which kind of translates to "fuck the police," and. Uh, you know, it's an old song from the early 20th century. It got popular in Russia. The Jews sang it in the streets there. And uh, I've written my own kind of English version of it, too. And so Lula might do some tap dancing. And uh, we're going to and we're gonna sing Fuck the Police. Do you, are you going to shout Fuck the Police when, yeah. when I sing it, too? Okay, let's do it. played a lot of places I'll play them all again Everywhere I go I hear the same old thing again Somebody dies in police custody Soon there are questions from the family At first the situation makes those lawmen look so filthy then they investigate themselves and it turns out that they're not guilty well hey hey the law police it means the same thing now as yesterday out of your houses into the streets everybody say fuck the police okay now here's a story of a murder by the police that was not punished. There's a lot of those examples of that, but this one's from BC. But when you cover this, you should feel free to write your own second verse. Jack Garden did that. That was a good one. Okay. Ian Bush's parents didn't know he was a killer when Constable Kessler picked him up for having open can of Miller. The video at the station house somehow got erased, but the bull was there so we can know exactly what took place. He said the boy jumped on his back. The cop was quick instead. He said he reached around and shot him. Right in the back of the head, Constable Kessler would not demonstrate just how this thing was done. If you think that it's impossible, then the coroner's not alone. Well, hey, hey, the Lord police say it means the same thing now as yesterday. Out of your houses, into the streets, everybody say, fuck the police. Oh, there must be something magic down in those holding cells. There's stuff that happens there that just don't happen nowhere else. Healthy people dying from a sudden heart attack. Men who hang themselves with their hands tied behind their back. There's lots of good and brave police. Must be true, I guess. It's brave to work with a murderer sipping coffee by your desk. Oh, hey, hey, the Lord police say it means the same thing now as yesterday. Out of your houses, into the streets, everybody say, fuck the police. Hooray! Great dancing, Lula. Did you see how I went? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that was <laughs> really good. That was really strong work. And I pretended that I was holding like a knife because I was yeah. answering what the police really oh, do. Oh, yeah. That was good, good interpretive dance. So I think I'm going to play another song. It's an, um, you know, people are talking about cutting the police budget, and that's very important, and, and that'll help pay for stuff we need, like housing and stuff like that. But we can also get money from another place, which is from the bank accounts and the land of very wealthy people, like Jimmy Patterson and other, and, uh, you know, the, uh, what's, 
Chip Wilson from uh, Lululemon and the or Vancouver billionaires. You know, we can we can uh, take their money. So I'd like to sing a song about taking their money away called Why Don't We Just Take the Billionaire's Money Away? Can you do the away parts? Where I go, you go away, away. Okay. There's a lot of different lefty political ways to think. And most of them think that most of them mostly stink. But maybe there's some things we could agree on. I mean, isn't it fair to say we could start by taking the billionaire's money away? Away! Away! Why don't we just take the billionaire's money away? Away! Away! away. And spend it on shit for which millionaires say we can't afford to pay. We'll just start by taking the billionaire's money away. Away! Away! That's good. You know, there's like about eight guys, maybe six guys now. Well, eight guys who own more than half of the whole human race. Yes, they do. That's crazy. I'd like to sit down with you and chat about just what that says. I'd like to, but I really can't be bothered. I'd rather be working with people who are ready today. Ready to get to work taking the billionaire's money away. Away! Away! And spend it on health care, child care, trans care, elder care, mental care, dental care, shelter, teach chairs, etc. You get the picture. Now, some say we can't do it on account of the economy. That's what they say. Because rich people have more of that. So it scares investment, you see. Boo. But we've been doing it their way for a long time now. Boo! Exactly. How's that working out, though? Okay. Then, let's innovate by taking the billionaire's money away. Away! Away! And some say we can't do it, cause the billionaires keep it all hid in places like Panama. But the government could find it if they wanted to. What if they did? What if? So, if you say it can't be done, I'm done with you, chum. Go take a billion holidays in the sun with your friend, the Aga Khan, or Richard Branson, or that schmuck from Amazon, while the rest of us take the billionaire's money away, away, away. Yep, we're gonna take the billionaire's money away, 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 and spend it on shit for which millionaires say we can't afford to pay. We'll just start by taking the billionaire's money away, away, away. That was that, good. Didn't it look good? Like I, I was, I was dancing and looking at me like I was stealing the money away. Yeah, yeah, you were doing that. You were, you were showing, not you were showing what the song was telling. That's why we have the video and stuff, is so people can understand on a different level, the visual level as well. So, hey. thanks for doing that. Okay, so this song is called "Die Zukunft." Do you remember what it's called? What it means? "Die Zukunft." Yeah. What? The future, right. And it's about imagining a better future, things getting better. It's kind of tricky sometimes to imagine things getting better 
but we gotta try. This is by Mr. Wachewski, and he wrote a long time ago. He could imagine a better future, and I think we should try too. I'll translate some of the, my favorite Yiddish bits and stuff for you. Oh, it starts with him saying, with the song saying, Oh, the world will become younger, and, and things are going to get better and easier. Oh, die Welt wird werden jünger und das Leben leichter gringe. Jeder Klager wird er singen, wenn wieder bald. He says, they say, uh, every mourner will become a singer. I like that part. Los dos folk wird werden klieger, if only people would get a little smarter. Und verjogen dem Batriger, and chase out the tricksters and liars. Im dem Fuchs und euch dem Tiger, all those predators. Von sein Schein im Wald, from the beautiful forest. Oh, the world will glow with beauty. Love, enhanced and hatred, puny. Between every state and country, people tearing down walls. Become freer, freer, younger, newer, dear, and the truth within her clearer, ringing clear as a bell. Uh, this part, the song asks everyone to just be a little braver, and try a little harder. Mutig Brieder, Mutig Schwester, Jeder Kampf der Letzter Gräste, Ruf Teich von die Tuchle Neste, Euf in Freien Feld. You're being called to the fields of freedom. And then it says, also, be brave in the ranks. Also mutig in die Reihen, in die Reihen zu befreien, zu befreien und beneien, to free and renew unser alte Welt, our old world. As you struggle, become braver, activist and liberator. Be a hero and creator, reimagining our world. Be a hero and creator, Re Imagining our world. Hooray! Great dancing. You really showed people you what a yeah. This part a lot of that man, I get stronger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you were fighting. You were really fighting a lot and there. Showing that you should fight instead of being weak. Yeah, you should get out there and fight. Yeah, it's good, really good dancing. That was terrific. Well, I think that's pretty much uh, uh, the session for us. I would really like to thank uh, Cannon and, and Lou for having us in and for Co op Radio. We got to thank them and Arts Wells, too, for letting us do this thing. Sure feels nice to be part of the scene again, be hanging out with people and 
seeing the posters Maybe of all my friends like and stuff like that. Hang out here a little bit? Yeah, we could hang out. Maybe you could have some more juice. I mean, you really pulled it off, so I think you earned some, some uh, orange juice there. 